Hey everyone, this is Brett with Wolves Across the Pond and today I wanted to sign on and uh, chat some wolves with y'all. So we're a few games into the season and I think there's a lot to discuss on where we are right now as we head into the international break. And so yeah, I kind of wanted to just report back, let's see how things are going so far with wolves. So let's get into it. So just had a few talking points I wanted to run through really quick here. Um, and number one is I wanted to quickly mention the Aston Villa game. I feel like, again, it's already really been talked through from other Wolves channels, and I think I can only echo what other people have already said. Um, it's, it's a lot more of the same. Um, Huang and Neto are just looking awesome. Um, they continue to amaze me and it, it's just been excellent. It was, it was a good performance. We, we had um, our, our players showed up for sure. It was a game that I really think could have gone either way. So not to put out about that draw. Um, obviously a win would have been nice, but um, all in all, I count it as a, as a win for Wolves. We walked away with a point and um, we can move on to the next match. Speaking of the next match, um, that's a great segue into my second point that I wanted to discuss. Um, we got Bournemouth coming up in a couple weeks, and that is going to be a very interesting game. <laughs> Given the state of things, obviously, under Gary O'Neill, Wolves are looking good. He's kind of, I think, found his stride with our boys, and everybody seems to know what they're doing now. You know, we still have moments of weakness um, where we lose composure. Obviously, we lost a point very quickly in the Aston Villa game, which was very upsetting right after Huang's goal. <laughs> but um, all in all, Wolves are looking really good and we kind of are right where we should be in the table right now with, with a fairly realistic yet optim optimistic look at the season. Um, we had a couple bad decisions, obviously, against um, United and Luton, where, you know, refing kind of went against us, but then we picked up that extra three points for Man City, and now a point with Aston Villa. So, all in all, we're, we're looking good in the table. We're right where we should be. Um, Bournemouth, on the other hand, is, man, they're struggling. <laughs> it's, it, it's kind of vindicating as a Wolves fan, because... We had a lot of people, including Bournemouth fans, that said, oh, he's terrible, we don't want him, he's not going to do well for you guys, oh, Wolves are going down for sure because they picked this guy up. And I said right at the beginning of the season, you know, Gary O'Neill's going to have something to prove, he's going to be working really hard, he's going to have to be really strategic, and that's exactly what we've seen, and look where Bournemouth is, and look where we are. So, I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch or anything, but so far so good with wolves things are looking great and if if we continue in this form i think we're going to have a season exactly like i thought um on a live stream i was on a few weeks ago i i said that i could see wolves placing 12th in the table and that was looking a little op optimistic at the time but now i don't know i feel like that looks really realistic and hopefully we can just climb the table from there but um, um anyway it's it's just really interesting like I don't necessarily want to say I told you so, but I, it, what I thought was going to happen this season has come true so far. So that's been validating as a fan, um, looking at the team and actually watching them succeed and kind of seeing this new duo emerge with um, Neto and Huang. So um, yeah, more, keep that coming, guys. <laughs> I, I love watching them play. They, it, they've just been putting on a show for us this season. and. Wolves fans aren't the only ones noticing, of course, you know, we have, I see a lot of posts about it on Twitter from a lot of non-Wolves sources, so it's just great to see that rec recognition, and it's great to see Gary O'Neill get um, validated and vindicated a little bit after the Bournemouth situation, and I mean, I don't wish ill necessarily on people, but it's, it's good to see this turn of events after they had a lot of naysayers coming our way, so yeah, let's keep this going. The third point I wanted to discuss just briefly is just the squad itself and kind of reacting to earlier videos I had this season where I talked about team depth um, versus what we're actually seeing. And it's actually quite interesting because earlier in the season I said that I thought we had a little more depth than people were letting on. You know, everyone was saying, oh, Wolves are going down, Wolves are going down. 
and it was it was frustrating because they really weren't seeing the value that was actually there and now we're beginning to see that not only do we have a pretty a-list starting roster with Neto and Huang that are I mean and Saw and many others have been putting world-class performances up Saw's had a few great games this season with some amazing saves and it's just it's so great to see them kind of hit that spotlight where everyone was doubting and and what's what's crazy is with the current starting lineup that we have with the squad we still have options you know we're starting to see Gary O'Neill make these sub choices that have been working out very well for us and so um yeah i'm just i'm really happy to see that you know once again i was i was right <laughs> i don't want to toot my own horn but i i kind of was right in that we had a little more depth than people were trying to let us believe and there was a lot of naysayers from both sides of the fence that were saying wolves aren't going anywhere this season they don't have a club they've sold all their best players but no one was paying attention no one could see like the actual value that was there and that was frustrating but i was just waiting for the day where we could say huh told you don't doubt our team <laughs> they're they're awesome they're they're a great squad and and uh yeah they've just been lighting it up so far so I, I only see us improving from here as Gary O'Neill continues to come into his own, get the team strategy uh, more underway. One thing I'm also really curious about is to see his um, how his kind of conditioning approach during practice improves the team, just because he said that they really had to ramp up their practices um, because they weren't practicing like hard enough, I guess you could say, beforehand. And that was actually something I kind of suspected just watching team videos and stuff. Like it, it was a total judgment call on my, my, on my part, but it just seemed like maybe things were a little loose and then that kind of showcased itself on the field. So yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that that strategy continues to improve the team and the squad. Um, and so far, hey, it's working. Well, that's all I had for you today. Um, thanks so much for tuning into Wolves Across the Pond. Um, again, very happy with how things are going. We had a little rough patch there for a while, but things are really looking up. And yeah, just really hoping that we can continue this rhythm forward this season and that uh, our players can continue to show up in big ways just like they have because yeah, they've just been, they've been killing it. I mean, again, had some rough spots, but I think we're on a great trajectory now and it's, it's gonna be interesting to see where things go. But either way, we'll be here waiting across the pond. So we'll see ya.